Right, what's up guys? Uh, so today I'm going to show you some cheap tricks for using a an old lens. Uh, this is uh, Tokina, I believe. Yes, this is Tokina, uh, 80 to 200 millimeters. This is a zoom lens, push-pull zoom lens. And what we're going to do now is uh, I want to use this lens with this Rhinox DCR to become a cheap uh, macro lens because as you all know uh, this Rhinox DCR is most effective if we use it with a zoom lens so uh, this Tokina uh, I have used this uh, Tokina 2 Canon EF adapters and this EOS M uh also use an adapter as well i'm going to plug it here okay okay this is the mounting it looks cool but let's see how it performs on the camera itself okay hold on hey guys so this is the configuration as you can see this is the match that I was using and this is the chip lens chip zoom lens only $60 and this is the camera and I used an external light okay that's it Okay guys, so what I'm basically want to do now is uh, I'm going to use this uh, this is a match for your reference and I'm going to use this coin as our object okay. okay, now the lens is in its widest position which is 80 millimeters so I'm going to zoom it up to 200 millimeters and I'm going to move the tripod so to get the focus Okay, I think we get the focus. Okay. Okay, so that's the magnification of the old chip lens. It's a very wonderful macro considering what uh, I'm using is a uh, APS-C camera. So you get a pretty big magnification here. And besides uh, coins, you can also use any others. And basically, that's how our experiment works. So that is uh, when the Rhinox was put out. And now the magnification again. Okay, so quality is good, mainly because the Rhinox itself it's a very good glass and very good magnification so if you like macro definitely you should have one okay guys thanks for watching uh, please like and subscribe